Hey guys, it's Daniel with Bridgetown Fire, back at you with another quick little demo on how to add a hydrant and markers to your map in your district. So, a uh, key function of the mapping in I Am Responding is you can add hydrants or markers that will help your members while they are responding to calls to locate FDCs, fire alarm control panels, uh, the um, Siamese, uh, Knox boxes, anything along that line. So, before we get started, I just want to give you a disclaimer that if your system administrator has not allowed you to have the permission to add hydrant markers, then you will not be able to see these functions in your I Am Responding app. So, you do have to be enabled to add and remove hydrant markers before you're able to actually do it in the app uh, by your system administrator. So, let's go ahead and launch the application. So, we're going to launch I Am Responding. This is the dashboard that we're all used to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the settings area up here. And uh, we're going to go up to here. And then we're going to scroll down. And then we want to go actually, obviously, da -da -da, hydrant markers. So we're going to go into here and go into hydrants and markers. That actually launches the map. Now, the key is to make sure you go to the hydrant and markers map and not just the mapping. So this actually will GPS locate you um, to where you are in the map. So let's just kind of zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, I have quite a few markers in our district. Um, they are all turned on right now, so it's kind of busy. Um, as you can see, we have the uh, hydrant markers, we have distance markers, exits, uh, civic ranges, anything along that lines. Uh, we even actually have a solar house in our district. So if you, as you can see here, uh, the blue dot right here indicates where we actually are on the map. So we zoom in a little bit further. All right, so that's where I'm at right now. So let's just go ahead and um, say there's a hydrant here. There, there's not, but we're going to use this for discussion purposes to actually add a hydrant we're just going to tap on where we want to put the hydrant so just press and hold and as you see right down here in the corner of course you have this pop up but then you have this down at the bottom as soon as that comes up down at the bottom what you need to do is just go add new marker hit that button it'll launch the actual menu where you can add all the hydrant markers maybe there we are just taking a second to go. So these are all the hydro markers that are available to the area. All right. Some of these hydro markers actually have expirations on them, such as your do not enter, your road construction, your flood condition, that kind of thing. A lot of those types of um, markers have expiries on them. Uh, as far as your stuff like your pre-plans, um, they generally don't. So let's say, let's put a hydrant right there. Uh, just got an email come through, sorry. Um, so let's select a hydrant. So we're going to go, and we're going to select the name. So you would go, uh, with me, I put in hydrant number, so I just put in hydrant 27. So that way, if uh, our public works or municipal works department calls us to say hydrant 27 is out, I'm sure that when I mark a hydrant out of service, uh, I got the right one. So... We're going to type in um, Daniels. Hydrant. There we go. So we're going to say that it is a hydrant. You can select a dry hydrant, a lake, pond, similar seasonal lake, pond, similar pool, etc. Uh, we only use hydrant and dry hydrant in our district, so I'm going to go hydrant. Uh, the status is in service. So we can select a flow rate, and these colors correspond to the NFPA uh, color code system for hydrants. Let's say it's a real good hydrant. I'll go 1,500 gallons per minute. So number of outlets on it, uh, there'd be three. Uh, outlet size. Uh, with this right here, what I've done and with the system that I developed is I go... Of course, your largest diameter, your steam report, we would put that first, and then we would put uh, our two and a half after that. So I'm going to go five, and I'm going to go five slash 2.5 slash 2.5. So that way I know it's a five inch, two and a half, and a two and a half. 
Uh, it's a newer hydrant, so let's say storage. But then uh, we have um, standard thread storage slash standard. Uh, what I'm going to do, what I did with our department, I know this is another classification for national standard thread, but uh, in my terms, I guess in our area, it's Nova Scotia thread. We have a specific thread that's Nova Scotia uh, standard. So storage NST slash uh, NST. Now, typically, you're not going to be too concerned about this when you're responding to a call. Um, you're going to know that that hydrant is Nova Scotia thread or whatever thread it is. But this is a good training tool. So that way, if you want to go and uh, look at it later and do some pre-plans. So direction to open, of course, is counterclockwise. Um, so these are dry barrel hydrants that we have in our area. So you could put, you know, dry barrel hydrant. Uh, hydrant. Stuff like that. You can put that in there. Now the longitude, longitude and latitude, that's nothing really we can edit. Um, you can also put in here if you have a main, uh, for instance, uh, main lake could, or main is located on um, a loop. Right? A loop. So that way you know I have a little more hydrants, not a dead end hydrant. So you can also do crossing street um, as well. So we're going to go ahead and save that. So now that we've saved that, there's my hydrant. So as you can see, my hydrant, uh, as you can see, that hydrant, uh, that uh, marker that was previously there, uh, has now turned into a hydrant symbol. Now if I would have selected between uh, $14.99 or whatever, it goes to uh, a, a green color, and then it goes to orange, and then it goes to red. Um, and then you have a dry hydrant color as well. So it's color coordinated. Uh, if you need to move the hydrant, you can just press and hold. So what I just did there was tap on the hydrant itself, and you can actually view all the information about the hydrant. You can also tap and hold and drag the hydrant. So you sure you want to move this marker, except, and now you successfully move that marker. The other thing you can do as well, I'm just going to tap on that again, is go to edit and if you see this right here just circle it uh, the in service if you see that right there let's say you want to go out of service let's say somebody hit it with the vehicle and broke it off broke the uh, the bonnet off on it you've instantly turned this hydrant black so you know that hydrant's no longer in service and that's just a feature of the iron responding system and that's just a feature of the IM system. IM responding system that you can do. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this now. Um, edit. And then delete this marker. Yes. Some other markers that you can do. Um, for example, let me go back over to here. Press and hold. Add new marker. You can go and put up, uh, let's say this house has floor and roof truss constructions. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you could actually take this, tap it, and then drag it, and move it right up there. Go accept, and again. Now that house is labeled and it has uh, floor and roof trusses. Go in here and edit, and then delete marker, yes. So that's how you need to add markers to your system, to your IM responding mapping. And again, there's tons of markers that you can do. Um, I can show you here. Now the beauty of the IM responding system is not only can you see your markers, but, I believe I can see it in this, I may have to go into the mapping section. Is 
if you go into show markers, you can go all markers. You go OK. And once that happens, then now you can see um, everybody else's markers as well. So these right here from here up, those are not my markers. But I can see them because somebody else has put them in the system. So the markers generally, uh, especially for volunteer fire department, um, like us, because we are in town, our hydrant markers, yes, they're handy, but believe it or not, it's more for your mutual aid um, than anything else. But that is our marker section. Um, as you can see, there's lots of markers out there. Um, here's a town. It's got a municipal water system. It should load up. There you go. That's a hydrant system in a town. Um, we've got lots of markers. Wow. Uh, they've added quite a few, actually, since the last time I saw that. Um, so you can keep going on up through and you can see all the hydro markers. Anyways, uh, again, my name is Daniel Cheeseman. I'm with Bridgetown Fire. Just figured I'd give you a little demo on how to do that, um, for the, adding the hydro markers to the IM responding system in your district. Uh, the one rule though, I will say this guys, um, is don't add high, don't add markers uh, outside your district. It may be helpful, and you may feel that you are helping someone else by doing that. But if something ever changes, you're not able to edit that. Um, if something changes that the host department knows about, um, and you may not, then they have no ability to go in and edit that marker. You're the only one to be able to do that because it's on your IM responding system. So, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll do some more how-to videos. Peace.